most toxic team in Madden history. Why? The answer is the quad father. Now, AJ Dillon by himself is a stud, but he has a special ability called Freight Train Quad Father. And for two AP, you start the game with the Freight Train ability. Freight Train increases the chance to break the next tackle attempt. It works nine times out of 10. On top of that, you can add the ability Persistent, which makes it more difficult for your opponent to knock Freight Train off. You can add Tank so that you break every single hit stit tackle. You can add Bruiser for more powerful trucks and stiff arms. And this by itself is incredibly toxic. But the rest of this team makes it even worse. Number one, there's a new card. Mercedes Lewis Big Dog. Honestly, didn't know people called him Big Dog, but whatever, the card goes pretty hard. This is an insane blocking tight end. He has 95 run block, 94 pass block. He's also an incredible tight end in his own right, but he's basically a guard at tight end. All of my wide receivers are massive tight ends or wide receivers who can block like maniacs, George Kittle, Megatron, and Delaney Walker. At fullback, I have the Nigerian Nightmare, Christian Okoye. You guys have seen my videos. You know he's an insane fullback. And to make this run-only team even more toxic, I added Big Truz. Lamar starts with the ability Truz where he cannot fumble as a result of a tackle. We also put Dexter Lawrence at tight end, who is an incredibly big blocking tight end. I don't know why he got a tight end card. It's pretty awesome. And we're not quite done yet. My offensive line is fully loaded out with abilities. Roger Saffold has post up. Dominant when engaged in double team blocks. Creed Humphrey gets identifier completely free so I can see who my opponent is using and adjust accordingly. Will Shields has post up and secure protector. Ryan Ramchick has edge protector. This is just in case we do throw one or two passes. Andrew Thomas has natural talent and secure protector. The rest is on the quad father and Lamar Jackson. I am absurdly excited to take this into a dead -head game, but that's not all. Just to really top off the run game only team, my defense is consistent of players who at one point in their career were used as a running back. Derrick Henry is obvious. Micah Parsons has gotten a few handoffs. Bo Jackson is obvious. JJ Watt's gotten some reps, I think, as a fullback. William Perry's been a fullback. Same with John Randall. Julius Peppers has gotten the ball. Darrell Revis played halfback before. This isn't a defense video, though, by any means. Even our strategy item is the legendary pave the way for plus two run block, plus two impact block, plus four run block power, and plus one run block finesse. My goal is seven yards per carry, three rushing touchdowns, and 200 plus yards. The quad father would be round one, pick one in my fantasy league. And you know what? He's got Keith Byers, the next best halfback. This ought to be fun. Actually, this team is so toxic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run command. I'm gonna let him score. I'm just gonna let him score on the first play of the game. Doesn't matter to me. Take it. Take it, because I'm marching down the field, and I'm going to score, and I'm going to get my two-point conversion, and you won't be able to stop. It doesn't matter to me. Also, I have insanely exciting news, and I need your guys' advice. This right here is my prize pick of the week. Now, the reason I show you is the sponsor of today's video is Prize Picks. Now, you're looking at my pick here, and you're wondering how I got Joe Burrow at more than half a passing yard. This is a really cool promotion that Prize Picks does. Every once in a while, they offer a free slot. Now, I'm no mathematician, but I feel like Joe Burrow should throw for more than half a passing yard, so I feel really good right there. And then my selection with Isaiah Pacheco, he's averaged 67 rushing yards in the last five games. So I feel like my odds are pretty good. I can't tell you guys how excited I am to work at Prize Picks for the next entire year and to bring you some awesome, awesome promotions just like this one. And with that said, there is a link in the top of the description to download Prize Picks. And first time depositors, you can get a deposit match up to $100 with promo code MMG. When you download the app, it'll ask you for a promo code. Just throw in MMG. You can ride my picks with me or make your own. It's totally up to you. I'm really hoping we can get a W on this first pick. Let me know what you guys think and enjoy the rest of the video. First and 10, so the quad father. In order to lose Freight Train, I'd have to get tackled for a loss two separate times. His ability to do that, it just won't be very high. I say as I get tackled for a loss. I was just unlucky though. That ain't gonna happen twice. It just does, it doesn't matter. I mean, congratulations, that was pretty good. It won't happen twice. As I say that, oh my God, are we gonna go house? Are we gonna go house, Cole? <laughs> Ronnie, I can't catch me. <laughs> I really started this video with a negative one yard loss, followed up by the same play for an 80 yard gain. But my yards per carry is on par right now considering we have 40 and a half yards per carry. And like I said, he lost the game. The minute he didn't go for two, he lost the game. <laughs> there goes the quad <laughs> Take the seven. I tell you what, man, I'm a fortune teller. Oh, that's so messed up. Gun tight flex PA post shot.
Oh, Derrick Henry free safety did not pick that one off. He is struggling right now, though. Oh, good ball. Derrick Henry with a big hit. I hope he goes for that again. I'm going to lurk this. Oh, shit. I'm an idiot. Ooh, Bo will catch him, though. Oh, Bo, you didn't get that? <laughs> that was my fault. I took Derrick Henry out of that zone. It just means more rushing yards for the quad father. He can't win. He literally has already lost. He keeps kicking PATs. I do have Wildcat, too. I'm going to follow this. I'm going to go Wildcat Power. We're going we're gonna to follow the boy here. Ooh. Tough, tough. The quad father has now lost his ability. I did get TFL twice. Like, it's not invincible. But to get it back, he just has to play five offensive downs. He doesn't have to do anything special. Let's go to Lamar. We still got Lamar with big trus. Walker's wide open. I will take a pass. I'm not above taking a wide open pass. A nice stiff arm as well. All right, let's hand this ball off. Third and six. That O-line lighting up. But he is there. Bottle that up. Fourth and five. Ooh, nice play. Nice lurk. I actually got to lock in. Wait a minute. What a loser. He really likes this play. PA post shot. I don't mind that pass. Oh my God. Maybe I do. That was a laser beam. He's going to run this with Byers. Oh, he doesn't. And he gets that. Oh, my God. McPherson, a little onside kick. Picked up by Patterson. Being a little cocky. Got me in some trouble here. So so let's actually lock in. I'm going to try a hatback wham. Got Big Dog coming over for the block. And that got blown up. Wow, we're not going anywhere right now. Gonna hit the boy Kittle. Nice catch. Gotta get back to the run game, though. I can't be passing the ball. I'm not gonna feel good about this if I do. It's the most toxic run team. To run a stretch out to the right side. I'm loving those blocks, gentlemen. I really could have followed my block. I didn't have to light that guy up like that, but it was pretty fun to do so. Beautiful blocks. Beautiful broken tackles. The quad father for another six. Down two possessions is a little ugly right now, but this is a high score match right now. That's 30 points scored in the first quarter. I'm just gonna go left side again. He's there. He got that one. He's going to go right up the middle this time. A little zone run play. Oh, he's on me. We broke the tackle. Tough. That one was tough. Got to take off with Big Trust. Can't fumble. <laughs> Let's go. First thing goal. That's a big conversion right there. He dropped everybody back. All right, we're going to run left side here. Let's do it. He sees it. There's just nothing he could. Ooh, that's my fault. I got to dive there. Got a little greedy. Let's see if he predicts correctly. Nah, he just got stood up. Hey, and the quad father takes down the big boy. I am going to take my PAT here to make this a seven point game. And then if I can score again without him scoring, I'll go for the two point to make it 23 to 22. Like I said, I think him not going for two that first time around is actually, is actually going to be a big mistake in this game. Well, we know what play he likes. Dude, I'm blitzing seven. Somebody's got to get home. There we go, baby. I don't think he can throw Parham again. What a ball! And he caught it. Oh my God. I can't believe he caught that. All right, he's going to do the same thing. Let's get to the QB this time. There we go. Yes, sir! Got the That's so <laughs> whack. How, did, how do you catch that first one? And I don't catch that easy pick. Unlucky butts! We do take Cunningham down here. It is third and 21. Let's see what he elects to do. He's got to throw quick. Definitely doesn't have the time he'd like. Oh, nice ball. And he does get the first. Nice play. See if he does it again. Oh, I'm there this time. Hey, another sack. Randall Cunningham goes down once again. He is just full speed. I'm on it again. Let's go. Third and 26. I almost want to call a timeout here. Let's see if he chooses clock. Go right over the middle. Yes, sir. Not again. We got Bo Jackson on the return team. Like I said, it's the most toxic run team. That's a huge, huge stop right there. Especially because I get ball at half. I, I retain three timeouts and there's 23 seconds left on this clock. Let's see if the quadfather can get all the way down there. I mean, it's pretty questionable to go with a run play here. Just clock management wise, but this is my run team, you know? Oh, I can hit Dexter Lawrence. Oh my God, Dexter Lawrence. <laughs> he got it. Let's go, dude. Let's just get a field goal out of this. Get a field goal out of this. Ooh, that's a questionable ball. Shit. I bumped with a bunch of people and the ball didn't go where I needed it. He's going to onside kick again. Oh, he's going to touch it before. Yep. Beautiful. Take our penalty. And Quadfather does not have far to go. Just go right at him. Get the fuck off of me. I was lucky to get two yards there, though. He kind of blew that up. He does the same thing. What a throw, Lamar. You know you're getting taken out. And you too. The Quadfather. There's a big one right there. And you know what? I got two interceptions right now. That's what I get for throwing the ball with the Toxic Run team. Let's try and get to this left edge. Let's see if the Quadfather's built for it. Ooh, he's there. We do break a tackle. We don't break the second one. That's good defense he doesn't have his x factor anymore lamar still has his of course i'll take that quad father's still a beast he he doesn't need
need the X Factor. He just likes having it. Third and five. I'm gonna run deuce close to the right. Oh, ooh, nice stiff arm. It's fourth and two. I'm gonna run right at him. It's the run only team. I gotta believe, right? I got him. Let's go. First and 10. Huge play. No huddle run play after no huddle run play. We're gonna cut this one up. Another huge stiff arm. Another big hit. He doesn't need the X Factor. 17 rushes, 113 yards, and two touchdowns. This got blown up last time, and I'm gonna try it again. Got Big Dog coming over. I know this is a good play. Oh, that's where you'd love to have the X Factor. If I got the X Factor right there, he breaks that for sure. Right at him. Come on. We blow one up. We're down to the four. We can't get stood up. I didn't even consider read option. I think this is a keeper with Lamar, no? Let's see how it looks. It's a keeper with Lamar? Oh, I caught lit up. I think the keeper was the right call. I'm gonna pass it. George Kittle's too open to pass up. I'm so sorry. I know it's the run team, but when you run the ball that well, it sets up the pass. This is a critical moment here. I'm going for two. I said I would, so I'm gonna do it. I was gonna say, I'm gonna try and make this look like a stretch as much as I can. I'm just gonna dive right at him. But dive right at him. I'm gonna trust the boys up front. Let's go, AJ. Oh my God. Park the Red Sea. Does it get any easier? a one-point lead. That may literally be the first time he's ran the football. One rush for negative one yards. Play action maybe? No, he literally ran the same play and also got negative one yards again. I'm confused on the strategy here, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe he's gonna chew clock and then yeah, he is. He's chewing clock. He's gonna try and kick a field goal with no time left. Mine! Oh, nice high ball. <laughs> It was a good high ball, but that is a lucky ass, unbelievable catch. All right, just a little handoff. There's Troy Anderson. At least slowed him down. We have the two minute warning on our side. It's third and seven. Yeah, this could be tough. If we don't get a, if we don't get some crucial stops, this will be tough. I'm tempted to let him score. It might be my best odds. I don't know if I can stop him with my, my run game defense. Nice defense, dude. He is getting lit up back there. He is not in field goal range either. Oh my god, Bo almost just ended the game. <laughs> he's gonna roll out. I don't think he's got anything. <laughs> Get the fuck off of me. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I wasn't even chewing clock. I wasn't trying to be toxic. I just was running the ball. Micah ends it. Oh, it's not true. It's not true. Don't say that. I shouldn't say that. I mean, this is the, the dominant run game team. So I, I expect to get a first down here. A few moments later. It's fourth and nine. I feel like a punt is the choice here. He has no timeouts. See, I haven't won the game. I shouldn't say that. I don't really know how to punt the football because I just don't ever do it. But I'm really hoping that's a punt dot right there because I need it right now. Holy fuck. That might have been an absolute dot. <laughs> punt dot. <laughs> Down at the four. Does he really run his play action play here? He really does. No. He gets screamed at and it's a safety. No way. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God. He actually shut the Xbox off. Dude, I blitzed my far right corner on accident there too. He literally could have thrown anywhere on the right side and had a touchdown. Quadfather went off. I mean, there's no question he went off. My run scheme just isn't that good. Like if you have a good run scheme or you're a like a better Madden player than me, which is probably a lot of you, you could do about a billion times more than what I just did. And we still went off. Oh, what a W, dude. All right, boys. <laughs> this is the most toxic run game team. If you see this in online, uh, I'm sorry. You've probably already seen it. Yeah, I didn't invent this. I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.